Gwen, those are some fast shoes you got there. First time this year, brought out the racing shoes. Yeah, why is that? Just think I need them. I don't know, it's a hard session. I haven't done any hard sessions. I've done tempos and um, what else? Just like sprints, like strides, that's what they're called. So yeah, today I have 5K of work, broken as I like, but 5K at 5K pace. So I need all the help I can get. <laughs> But yeah, did a morning swim, a bike, moto session, Jamie's here. It's kind of chaos today. Uh, our new au pair, Lara, arrived, and then Jamie's here, uh, my coach, and then Jason, my psychologist, is here. So, full house. Jason and will be out on the ride with us. Cool. The run. We're right. doing a run, yeah, not a ride. Because you got the shoes on, so. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Jason, you going to be throwing some, uh, some quotes out there to Gwen? For sure, yeah. We're going to be working on a few things. Go ahead and introduce yourself. Uh, so I'm Jason Patchell. I'm a psychologist. I work with uh, elite athletes from all over the world and different things. Um, but ultimately, it's about getting the most out of themselves. Whatever, whatever chosen pursuit um, they're most interested in. So we've got a bit of a plan today. Um, but Gwen's created um, that really drives her and gets the most out of her so my job today is really to um, help her align some of the decisions and actions she'll be doing in the training session um, to some of the, the more important purpose that really drives her so cool. and you got a board there with quotes or what do you got a board. <laughs> <laughs> yeah i'm reading yeah we've just got a bunch of numbers um, that kind of that was from JT, um, a bit of the, the secret sauce um, <laughs> around just Are you forget those a numbers? few. Yeah, I'll, I'll be probably reading these oh. these numbers. No, no, it just gives me a bit of a, a, um, a scale around or scope around what we want to hit at. Um, but Gwen's going to be leading this session because she's a great leader um, and she's a bold leader and she's building that continuing to build that trust in her own choices and, and how she operates. Sweet. So, be bold. Be bold. That's right. Yes. It's yes, it is. It's one of the only ones I carried over from last year to this year yeah. in my mission statement. So. And do you have a new motto this year? I have a new, yes, it's not finalized, but it's very, very close. But the only thing, I just want to tweak my first sentence, but like all my main points are dialed in. Okay. So yeah, but yeah, I'm just gonna run up to Davidson Mesa. I'm gonna do an easy lap of Harper, and then we can. I'll do some stretches. Good luck on your shush, mom. And then here's my RC. If you look right there, it's faster than you think. Watch. Oh! And then the tail just broke. But don't worry, we have extra pieces. Are you excited for Mexican when I get back? I just got splayed. <laughs> right. I'll see you guys. Yeah. Just be a hard workout for stretching. Oh, I know. I never stretch, Kenny. You know me pretty good. I want to start out fast. I, w I want to, my goal is to blow up. So I got to be warmed up if I'm going to go out hard. But I think I'm just going to go out and back on this stretch starting at the sign. I don't know if there's just because coaches in town. <laughs> that's not why. Yeah, that's <laughs> No, it's uh, I really, I want to go out hard. Some of these stretches go back to your uh... Bobby. Yeah. These are all Bobby stuff. But yeah, running days.
gonna go in one minute. Any encouraging words for this one? <laughs> I'll use I'll use Gwen's words, which is be bold. Yep. Be present. Yep. Um, and trust where she's at and her instincts. Mm -hmm. We're gonna find out where I'm at. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I like. That's what risk taking is about. Yep. Great commitment. I went for it. The whole time, yeah. How would you say this one? Back off to pace. You're gonna say I have to choose. Yeah. The context of what your purpose is, in service of that, you choose. Yeah. Don't know what I'm choosing or no? Yep, you tell me. I'm gonna go one more. Yep fast that yeah. uh, like pretty fast and then two at pace okay. and then I don't know what I'm gonna do the last one you put, wanna put a figure on it? this one yeah. uh, three oh do you think it's more uphill or downhill that way it looks uphill but I think it's downhill downhill yeah. three oh five three oh five downhill though. I would say effort wise it was the same. I feel like I was more present that time. To clear that, that last part. bit, yes, yeah. the last half. Yeah. Your body's screaming at you, you're evaluating, it wants to go ahead, you're telling you to stop. Yep. Yeah. That's where just reconnect. Yep. Yeah. at like 317. It's almost harder to go slower. You know? When I start out holding myself back, it's hard to then get going faster. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. 
got what you got, yes. and you have the choice to attack it or not. You're making the right choices. Really important for this last one to stay connected. Yep. Yeah. Don't get caught up in what could happen, may happen. Use your cues. Stay, stay bold. Yep. <clears throat> I don't like that word. <laughs> it felt good to run hard. Um, yeah, you know, it's feelings don't really matter, right? It's we can't control how we feel. So yeah, it's you know about putting an effort, no matter what we're feeling. I didn't expect to feel good today. So yeah, it was nice to just come out and do some hard efforts. One K's. Um, are very reliable kind of indicator for me. Uh, so it's nice to just come out and run some decent times. Now can you kind of tell us the mindset that you're trying to tell us through those intervals? I know it's hard to do when you're <clears throat> trying to focus on effort like that, but what were you mentally telling yourself? Yeah, so I think, you know, um, for me, it's all about um, staying present and in the moment and so bringing it back to um, what I'm doing in the moment which we often get distracted by what we're feeling how many we have to go what we just did and so it's kind of just always bringing it back to the present moment cool. Gwen has a, an amazing ability to um, I guess sustain and tolerate a lot of discomfort yeah, while so she's running athletes? I think all do. Yeah, but I think it's a strength of yours. You can tell in that session, right? It was incredibly uncomfortable. Yep. But your amount of commitment that you continue to show um, in the presence of that discomfort um, by continuing to direct attention and commit to, to the actual times and efforts that you yep. commit, it was impressive. Yeah, I think she's world class. So Gwen spent a lot of time putting um, her purpose and philosophy around what makes her at her best. And so my job is to not only help, help her with that, but bring some accountability to what that looks like in some of these sessions. So that's kind of probably the broader context of today, was, was kind of helping her um, connect in with those things that are really important and make her at her best. Um, and then we'll reflect on that um, each session. So, How long have you, have you been working with Gwen? Um, probably just with her for probably the last year, a bit over a year. Yeah, so, um, and then we would catch up probably every week um, and have last year um, to do very similar, to kind of work through the week and then understand how she can get more from herself based on what's important. And for Gwen specifically and a triathlete specifically, three disciplines, some consider the fourth discipline nutrition, but mm -hmm. obviously you could say a fifth discipline is the mental side of Absolutely. the sport and just life. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. It takes, um, you know, just just the level of discipline and the and attention to detail that's required from Gwen and, and all the triathletes is incredible. It's it's an impressive thing to, to see. Um, and I guess I, I, I help bring a level of Sometimes discipline, um, sometimes a bit of um, disruption to that when that 
that discipline can sometimes trap trap the, the approach or the, um, the, the freedom or the, the openness to possibilities. So. Cool. Yes. Yeah. Cool. I think right. that's it. Sign, Sign off. Sign subscribe. Off. Like. Follow, like, share. You yeah. guys know the drill. Yeah. <laughs>